Hi and welcome to Asta's Place. Today it's all about top coat. I'm using a water base and the reason I'm using a water base is because this undercoat is a water base finish. Now I've shown you how to prep and get everything pristine and perfect before you go any further. This has been done for about three to four days so I noted that it's lovely and cured off and it's ready to go. Now I could have stained it but what happened that was when we were building it, um, Jamie the wee builder boy was just a little bit rough and we had to put in a bit more fill. Now when you use fill or any other kind of painting, painted surface, you can't use the stain. That's the reason why I'm using the enamel, the acrylic, acrylic, get it right, the acrylic undercoat, the acrylic top coat. Now what you need to do when you open your can is to give it a good shape before you start and then get a paddle like this and give it a good stir for about five minutes to make sure that all of that colour has been completely well blended. Okay, from there the next thing is getting your paintbrush. Now another little tip I need to tell you about is make sure that you've got really good quality paintbrushes because there is nothing worse when you're painting and little bristles come out onto your painted surface. It's just not a very good look. Okay, from there normally I would put this into another container but for now this will be fine. Right. What I do is I usually start at the bottom or you can start at the top but I like to go halfway up and then come from the top down and it's just a matter of putting on your paint. Now see how this is, can you see what that's doing down there? That there is just with one application and you need to go back over that to make sure that you've got it well covered. Now another thing to remember is when you're painting, don't go up and down, the best way to do it is to once you've done all your wee filling in bits like I've done in here and in here, as I said, don't go up and down like that. Go across, like zigzag it through so that you're getting like a really nice coating. So if you just went all one way, what would happen is if there was any kind of little wee imperfection and the water got under that, that would just all flake off. So I'll just show you that technique. A lovely old master painter showed me how to do this years and years ago and it has been fantastic. So once again, as I said, it's a zigzag or a crisscrossing like that. So you can put it on like that if you want to and then just go over again. Now for a top coat you need two good coats and what I like to do is to leave it at least 24 hours between coats so that I know that each coat is well cured before I put the next lot on. The other little thing is don't paint in in the mornings if there's any moisture anywhere, don't paint late late in the afternoon when you know that there's going to be any moisture and the other time to not paint is when the sun is absolutely beating down on the surface that you're painting on. It needs to be and it needs to be a nice even consistency of temperature. Another tip is don't paint when it's windy or what you'll find is that the dust will blow onto that and that is seriously unpleasant. I hope I have been of assistance and we'll come back and have a look at this another day. I hope I have been of assistance. Thanks.